on a very special episode of Lisa Williams, Life Among the Dead. Hollywood celebrities sit down with Lisa to connect with loved ones on the other side. Hi, sir. Nice How to meet you? you. Hi, I'm Shana Lynn Mokler from MTV's Meet the Barkers. Why would my head hurt with him? I don't need him to say he's sorry. My name is Lonnie Love. I'm a comedian. I'm very skeptical, Lisa. Okay. Now, if she could tell me the lottery numbers, <laughs> I'll be her friend for life. <laughs> My name is Dana Devon, and I'm the co-host of the TV show Extra. To a younger man that's in spirit, did he drive fast? Oh, such a gift that I got to meet Lisa. Thank you so, so much. You're welcome. And later... It's standing room only for Lisa's first ever live audience read in America. Lisa opens the door. I have a gentleman here who's driving me insane. To the afterlife. He's going to be there when it's your time to go. Solving a mystery. You know who Jim is? <gasps> Sharing the pain <sighs> and laughter. He's dancing and he's doing this walk. Of those we've loved. They're giving you flowers. Fresh ones. And lost. Do you look like daddy? Yeah. Whether you're a believer. I'm just excited to be here. Or a skeptic. I have to be honest, I didn't believe. There's no denying the power you've changed all of our lives. And her message. When I was a little girl, I discovered I had a gift, communicating with those who are no longer with us. Some people say that what I do is scary. Other people say I change their lives. I just say what I hear and see, and I see a lot. My name is Lisa Williams, and this is my life among the dead. Like my truck. Oh, do you want to go for a ride in his truck? Do you think it's worth it? I don't know whether she'll do it. I don't think she'll. Come on. You should get a camera out. Oh, how cute! Oh. Oh. Okay, time to oh. get her out. What are you doing? Oh, she's so cute. She oh, she's really comfortable. Diane, have you seen the time? You've got to get off oh, to work, wow. babe. Diane, Molly, come here. Come on. Come. Come. No. no. All right, have a good day at school. Okay. okay. Be good. Have All right. Day. Have a All great right. day. Bye, Lucy Lou. Bye bye. All right. Okay, I'll Drive see you carefully. Later. Give All me right. a call. I will. All right. Bye. Love you. Bye. Love you bye. We need to get you off to school then, mate. As a mum, as ever, it's always difficult to leave your child in the morning. But you know, I have to work, so you get used to it. It's an even balance. I always like to say, have a, say goodbye to Charlie, have a few moments with him. It's really important to have time with the family just before work. Today is a very special day for me and I'm so excited. I have a few celebrity readings and later tonight I'll be reading for a live audience in the theatre in Hollywood. You know, every day just has a totally different story. Hi, I'm Shana Lynn Mokler. I'm originally from Rhode Island, but I live in Los Angeles, California. I have never met Lisa, but I'm very excited to uh, get the opportunity. You may know me from MTV's Meet the Barkers, and I'm here because I'd like to connect to a very close friend. Hi, you must be Shana. Hi, nice to meet you. Pleasure, nice How to meet you. you. Very well, thank Come you. Come and take a seat. Make yourself at home, thank be you. comfortable. Okay, so that's obviously the item I need to yes, hold on to. Yes, this is my item. Yes. Okay, fabulous. And I brought in a little urn. It's actually in the shape of a, of a Harley Davidson gas tank. It's a mini urn and it, it holds his ashes. So, do you know how I work or anything? No. Okay, how I tend to work um, is I hold on to a personal item. Mm -hmm. I will communicate with spirit. They'll tell me a little bit about who they are, what they're about, the, the information. Okay, fine, sorry, I'm hearing stuff. <sighs> anyway, they'll tell me a little bit about who they are, what they're about, um, a little bit about you maybe. And now I have to be honest with you. I know obviously you've, you've done some TV and stuff. So, I don't know, because I'm English. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I always have one question. Do you want to know everything? Yes, completely open. Go completely for it. open. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to sit back, hold on to this. 
Let's see where we go. Okay. Okay. Come and talk to me then. Show me what it is. Why? I want to say Mick or Mickey. Um, his name is Mick Mason. Right, okay. He's shaking his head. Did he have longer hair? He did, yeah. Because he's shaking his he locks. He loved his long hair. Oh, he's <laughs> shaking his locks. Going there, going. He you know, it. I feel that... Oh, bless him. It's, it's as though... I'm not saying that you and he could match hairstyles, but it's right. like... It was long. It was long. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, he, and he keeps showing me this whole look of getting out of the show, you know, when it's just wet. Yeah, he loved that. <laughs> Did he have a tattoo as well? He or tattoos covered. up his arms? Because I've got ca tattoos up his arms. Up his arms, up his chest, up his legs. Well, I can only see his arms. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just being shown sort of like from here upwards. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did he have a motorbike? Yes. He was in a, uh, like a, a bike biker club group, kind of yeah. I, I would say. And I feel that he'd just sit there <coughs> like that. <laughs> he really did. His legs. He really did. Just like that. I like identical. The whole things. Mm -hmm. This was talking about my best friend Mason, one of the only people who I feel really knew me in life. And he had long hair. Like I said, he was a biker. He was in a bike club, and um, he had tattoos. All his friends had tattoos, and he was really. I, I remember when he actually got a little older and he cut his hair off, and he was really sad about it. So it would seem fitting if if he passed on and he had the choice, he would have his long hair back because he loved it. Okay. Music's important to him. He loved music. Music's yeah. very, very important to him. Has there been a song that's written for him? Yes, there has. Because he keeps acknowledging the song that's his written for him. His brother wrote a song. And he's saying, thank you. Can you get the message across to the... Okay, okay. There was a memorial for him and everyone came out. Did people fly from all over the place, okay? Yeah. Because he just keeps... Okay. He wasn't just a cool guy, he was loved by so many people and people did fly from all over. In fact, there was two masses for him, one in Rhode Island and one in Los Angeles. Now somebody has written something for him, okay? Now, have you written a letter to him or written words I, uh, to him? I run like a site where people can come and write to him. That's what it is because it's as though you've written you know, people write to him and there's been letters. Every day. And he just keeps talking about thank you. And you're in his heart. You it's need to lot. know that you're in his heart. And he's... Okay. Okay. Why would my head hurt with him? Because my head hurts. Yeah. Big time. The right side. Was this on the right side of his head? I'm not sure. I've got a pain. He's just said right side, but I'm, pi I'm picking it up on my left side, sort of here. So whether this was where the impact was, because that's where I keep being shown this. He committed suicide. Right. And did he have, I don't know whether he, he shot, shot himself, himself but my head really hurts. My best friend Mason passed in April, April 11th of last year, and uh, he took his own life. He committed suicide and he uh, shot himself in the, in the head. He doesn't want to talk about it. <laughs> Because for me, like, I, I'm like at peace with it and I don't respect his decision, but I understand his decision, so I don't need him to say he's sorry for, for his choice. And you know what? He's not. I feel bad that I didn't talk to him. But he couldn't talk to anyone. Yeah. If you had tried to talk to him, he wouldn't have spoken to you about it. Okay. He'd have done that whole, oh, I'm okay. Right. And he's telling everyone not to be angry with him, just to respect his decision. He's saying it was my life. That was a huge part for me to hear Lisa say and him to say, you know, had nothing to do with you because I took a lot of responsibility. That's why now, and I recommend this to every friend, when someone says they're going to commit suicide, take it seriously. He's saying you're one of the only people who understands him. Mm -hmm. He was the only person who truly knew me. So. Yeah. And he doesn't want to tread on anyone's toes, but he loves you. He just wants to be remembered. Oh, most of all, as your friend. The things that Lisa was saying to me, the way that she was describing him and the comments that he was making, I just knew. I knew that he was here. I knew he was in the room. <laughs> he said, me and my hair are going now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bless him. He's just said thank you to me. He's so polite. Yes, he is. He's so he polite. Is. He, he just is said that thank kind you of to guy. me. <laughs> He is that kind of... But he loves you and he'll never forget you. And I love him too. Oh my God. 
Thank you so much. You're welcome. Shane is going to walk away from here knowing that he's happy and knowing that she's got some closure and resolution on this friendship with her. Thank you. Oh, you're really tall. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, you're welcome. Bye. -bye. Bye. Shayna can go away and give a lot of messages to other friends and family of his to help them with their closure. 